Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about my top 10 Siri commands for controlling HomeKit. You just might be surprised at what Siri is capable of when it comes to controlling your smart home. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for joining me. And for those new here, welcome. My name is Shane and on this channel, I am building an easy smart home using HomeKit. We're dropping new HomeKit videos every single Sunday right here. Today's video is sponsored by Hoobs. Hoobs is an out of the box system that allows you to easily connect over 2000 accessories to HomeKit. For example, my Roomba vacuum is now exposed to HomeKit thanks to Hoobs. Setup is super easy and the Hoobs team offers great support to their users. Check out the link in the description below for more information and thanks to Hoobs for sponsoring today's video. All right, so as far as voice assistants go, Siri has not always gotten the most love and maybe not the credit she probably deserves. Now, while there's definitely room for improvement, you might just be surprised at what Siri can do in your home, controlling your home kit and your smart home accessories. In this video, I wanted to give you my 10 top ways to control my smart home, my home kit smart home with Siri. And my hope is that by the end of this video, you will have learned at least something uh, to kind of help you interact with Siri and your smart home that you didn't previously know. Now, if you're watching this and you're curious about any of the products that I'm using in my smart home, I do put affiliate links in the description of all of my videos that list out all the products that I use in my home kit setup. All right, now rather than giving you exact phrases that I'm gonna use, cause we'll probably be here all day if we did that, I'm gonna give you kind of the ways that you can use Siri that you might not know. And I'll give you lots of examples of each as we move along, just so you can kind of see what's possible. Okay, so let's jump right in and start off with number one, and that is be specific or not. So we know that anything we can control in HomeKit we can control with Siri. But did you know that you can actually be pretty broad with your phrases that you give Siri and usually she's smart enough to figure out what it is you're trying to do. For example, set the blinds to halfway. Okay, I set the blinds one to halfway. Dim the desk lamp. Turn the bedroom fan up some or turn the bedroom fan to low. Okay, I set the ceiling fan to low. So two things to note here in these examples. First of all, is that I'm not actually even using the accessory names. When I say open the blinds halfway, Siri will just look at the blinds in my house and open them all. And I actually only have one set of blinds set up right now. So she automatically set those blinds to halfway. Same thing with the bedroom fan. That fan is actually named a uh, ceiling fan, I believe, but when I said bedroom fan, Siri just looked in my bedroom and found the uh, type of accessory being a fan. There's only one fan in my bedroom and she knew what I was talking about by saying that. The other thing to note here is that you don't have to use exact levels. Instead, you can easily say things like open the blinds halfway or dim the lights in the studio. Now she can also use the current level of your accessories as a starting place. I can say things like, hey Siri, it's too bright in the kitchen. Okay, I set all of the kitchen lights to 75%. All of these things will make adjustments in like 25% increments. So those are some pretty cool things you can do uh, just being really broad and general and she's usually smart enough to kind of figure out what it is you're trying to say. All right, moving on, number two, control multiple accessories with one command. Now using our voice assistants for a while, we've kind of gotten used to only being able to fire off one command at a time for these voice assistants, but Siri is actually smart enough to understand multiple things. And there's a few ways you can do this. For example, I can say, turn on my TV light strip and my Eve flare. Just a sec. Okay, the lights are on. Uh, now I believe this only works if you're using the same type of accessory, such as lights or only fans or whatever. I think they gotta be the same type, but you can tell her to do multiple things and she'll understand. And in addition to individual accessories, you can control entire rooms and zones at the same time. For example, I can say, turn on all the lights in the kitchen or turn off all the lights in the kitchen and you can even combine multiple rooms. So I can say, turn off all the lights upstairs, which is my, a whole zone, or I can say, turn off the lights in the bedroom and the living room, and she will turn off 
lights in those rooms. And this kind of leads us to our next one and that is scenes. This may be an obvious one for many people but I had to include this in the list. With scenes you can control various accessories across your house with just one command. Probably my favorite and most used is my going to bed scene. Every night when I'm ready I'll just holler at my home pod. Yeah, I'm going to bed and she cuts off all the lights in the main floor with the exception of a few accent lights that I leave on just so nobody stumbles in the darkness. Cuts off the living room TV, arms the security system, locks all my doors and shuts my garage if it's still open. And then she turns on some of my bedroom accent lights so that I can go in there and have the environment set the way I want because I usually watch TV and stuff for a little while before I actually go to sleep. So with this one command, going to bed she does all this stuff just the way I want some of the other family favorites in the Watley house are the party time scene we've got a good morning scene as well as a movie time scene that everybody really likes <laughs> number four control your TVs so you can use Siri to control your HomeKit TVs or your Apple TVs. You can actually do a lot of this on your other devices as well. I actually have a whole video that I did a while ago that talks about how you can control your Apple TV with your HomePod. So there's a lot you can do with a Siri remote on the Apple TV just during playback and stuff. For example, you can have Siri play or pause anything you're watching, open certain apps, find TV shows, turn on subtitles skip ahead or rewind any amount of time. One cool one that I like is if you're watching TV and you miss something that somebody said, you can say, hey, what did she say? And Siri will actually rewind a few seconds so you can listen again in case you miss something. So that's pretty cool. And quite possibly my favorite one for the Apple TV remote. Well, let me just go show you. Watch Shane Creates on YouTube. So the Apple TV is pretty awesome. One of my favorite devices in the house. <laughs> Moving on, number five is exceptions. Well, you can actually give Siri commands with the exception of something. So let me just give you an example. Uh, here we're in my bedroom. Turn off all the lights in my bedroom except for the headboard. Okay, the lights are off. And there you go, you can see she turned off all the lights except for the headboards. And you can even use this with rooms and zones, for example. We turn off all the lights downstairs except for the living room. And what this will do is actually turn off all the lights in that specific zone downstairs except for the living room. And number six, temperature and air quality. Now, as you probably know, Siri can use your home kit sensors to read you your, you know, temperatures, humidity, air quality levels and things like that. But did you know she can actually make adjustments to the environment based on these readings using stuff like your smart thermostats or you know humidifiers or air purifiers. For example, you can say things like, raise the humidity in the bedroom. Okay, I set the flower bud to 48%. Improve the air quality in the bedroom. Okay, the Pure Flow Smart Air Purifier is on. Of course, you can say stuff like, what's the temperature or turn the thermostat to 71 degrees. But did you know that you can say it's hot in here and she will just adjust the thermostat based on that. Number seven, controlling your speakers. Now, if you have multiple HomePods or AirPlay 2 speakers, you can do things like play music in the living room or play music in the living room and in the kitchen. Play everywhere. What's playing upstairs? Stop playing in the bedroom. Set the kitchen volume to 20%. Now, if you're listening to music maybe in the morning in your bedroom and want to go into the kitchen, you can say things like, move this to the kitchen, and she'll transfer your music from your bedroom to the kitchen. Number eight, check the status of your home. And this is actually one of my favorites because one of the real reasons I started a smart home, making a smart home, was because I just wanted to be able to check if I remembered to shut my garage when I leave. When you're gone, you can ask Siri if I remember to lock the doors, shut the garage, all those kinds of things. Let me give you an example real quick and show you what that looks like. Did I remember to lock the doors? No need to worry. Your door locks are already locked. Did I remember to close the garage door? No, your garage door is open. Shall I close it for you? Yes. Okay, the garage door is closed. Now whether I'm on my way out of the neighborhood or laying in bed at night, I can ask Siri, 
did I remember to shut my garage and she will give me the status and if I forgot, I, she'll then ask me if I wanna close it, which is a really cool feature, I think. And to add on to that, you know, Siri can just give you the status of all kinds of stuff if you just ask her, for example, do I have any windows open? A bow test sensor is open. Okay, so there you go. All my windows are closed except for that one sensor. Number nine, showing your cameras. This is actually one of my favorites that I've used for a while. Sometimes I'll keep an iPad just on my desk, you know, when I'm working and I can just say, here you show me the front porch or show me the backyard and it'll pop up my camera. You can actually ask Siri to show you specific cameras, whether you're on your iPhone, your iPad, and now in TV OS 14, you'll be able to ask Siri on your Apple TV to show you cameras and you'll get a pop-up window that'll show you the camera that you asked for. You can then make it full screen and you can swipe through all your cameras. It's gonna be a great feature for the Apple TV as well. And finally, number 10, if you made it this far, congratulations. This one is show you your camera's recordings. So this is gonna work with any HomeKit Secure video cameras that you have. Yes, Siri can pull up your recordings from your HomeKit Secure videos for any specific dates and times. Let me show you what that looks like. Hey, show me the front porch recording from yesterday afternoon. And there you go, you can see that Siri actually pulled up the camera recording from yesterday afternoon. Now you can use phrases like morning, yesterday, afternoon, anything like that. And you can of course use specific dates and times as well and Siri is smart enough to get you to the closest recording that you request. Show me recordings of the garage from Tuesday at 8 a.m. So there you go, she will actually take you to the closest relevant recordings in the timeline for the camera that you request. So this is a really cool thing. This will work on your iOS devices or your iPad. Anything that has the Home app allowing you to view your camera recordings for any of your HomeKit secure video cameras. And those are my top 10 ways that you can use Siri to control your HomeKit smart home. I hope that this video was helpful and that you learned at least one or two ways that you can use Siri to kind of improve your day-to-day -day life using HomeKit and your smart home. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. That really does help out this channel. And thanks again to Hooves for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so and click the bell icon so you don't miss out when we post new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here. And if you haven't joined me over on Instagram yet, go follow me over there. I'm doing a lot of kind of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of home kit and just random stuff over there. I did a recent giveaway over there and I do have plans to do more giveaways. I do a lot of that over on Instagram. That's probably where I'm most active. So hope to see you over there and thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see y'all later.